Yes, welcome. Okay, so um, let's see here. So I uh, my video wouldn't upload, so I'm still waiting for that for today's video to upload. So uh, hi, Denise. Uh, let me turn this volume off. Okay. Okay, we got that. Okay, let's take care of a little background business here. Okay, Denise, show us your new colors. Tell everybody hello. I want to welcome Denise. Paper Crafty is the newest member of the Dear Julie Design Team. I am so excited and blessed to add her to our team. You guys know she's amazing. And so she also gets a wrench. <laughs> so, um, okay, so since my video is, like, taking its time uploading, um, we will go ahead and... Um, so I'm thinking one o'clock we'll do a live, not live, we'll do the premiere of today's mini challenge in the challenge. We are making something to hold all of our scrappy things in. It was a lot of fun and it's just taking its time uploading. So those of you that just came in, everybody tell Denise hello and congratulations. Um, she was, I added, I got to add her to the design team. I am so, so excited. So, and there's Marcy, also a member of our design team. And um, yeah, we, boy, you guys, we are blessed. So I thought what I would do is... Um, I see a lot of people are really freaking out about making 8 to 12 of these items. Well, usually I have you make 6 of something and it has to be decorated and totally finished. And so this time it's just the bases. It is, um, so we're going to go ahead and I will make a couple of things. Um, I'm not going to make all eight of those things, so watch for those videos to come later. But this is just to get you able to start on a couple of the, the things. And so um, these are to have a book page base. So I have my, my book page. Now, yes, you can use the um, plain parts of your book. And, you know, you can be... Be really um, creative and you know take out <laughs> and use the the side that doesn't have any writing. Now um, that is up to you. Okay, so let's go ahead and just grab some pages. So, um, yeah, so that you are to have book pages as your base of all of the items. Um, one of the things that happens, and I know many of you are new, um, but one of the things that happens is that if you use books, you find yourself with a lot of these book pages. So, <laughs> hi, Bonnie. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Darlene. So you guys, um, I want to tell you, so Darlene and Carrie are part of the support team at Dear Julie Julie. They do things that are behind the scenes. Carrie is part of the, um, the Julie's Jewels. So if you're a member of the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, you may know about our um, rack and happy mail program what is it called <laughs> anyway it is run by bonnie and she has helpers there and um so carrie is is one of those there and then oh and kelly's here too now so kelly and um and now paper crafty which is denise 
Bonnie, Joyce, Marcy, uh, Maria at Angelfish Designs, um, D'Anthony, Russell, and also I still have Robin and Sherry Pitko are on the design team. They are kind of on a hiatus right now. Um, so I just wanted you to know that we are so blessed to have an amazing support team. Um, Darlene does, you guys see her, she is my dot the I, cross the T person. <laughs> you guys, I used to be the dot the I, cross the T person in most people's lives and in my life. And somewhere along the line, I lost my I dots and my T crosses. So my T crosses, not my crosses but my tea crosses. So I am very, very happy to have Darlene to do that. You'll see in the monthly groups, she goes ahead and takes what I write and gets it so that you guys can make a copy of it. It is so helpful. So, so thank you, thank you, thank you for my, my design team and my support team. You all know that Joyce um, she is the greeter of the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. Um, I can't even imagine <laughs> going back and having to make sure. I, I'm bad enough leading everybody into the groups. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that, I am, I'm so excited. I think that 2021 is going to be an amazing year here at Dear Julie Julie and in this community. And... Um, it takes a community to take care of our community, and I'm very, very um, happy and, and I'm going to say proud to have these amazing, amazing women on my, on my team and leading our community. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, and one of the things that you guys are <laughs> read your book, you know, make sure that you're, <laughs> unless you're covering it all up, or it's just for you, um, yeah, read your book, make sure that your your uh, stuff is, is good. So if you do not have a, a book, and you can take a little paperback book, um, you know, you'll need to, to be a little more creative on doing like the collage page roll, but um, you can take that, you can have like a crossword puzzle book or a Sudoku book, um, something that has letters and numbers on it because I wanted you to see that it in itself becomes a great texture for our um, our back our, you know, our stuff our as a background for what we're making I got I got distracted <laughs> okay so really really simple one of the easy things that you can make is an envelope just by folding, okay, just by folding. Now, I do want you to also collage these a little bit. I'm looking for a cutter. Yeah, I wasn't planning on being live. I have an amazing video for you, but I guess we'll show it at 1 o'clock um, Pacific Standard Time. So that'll be in a, just about two hours. Of course, you know, I was planning to go to town to go shopping, and then, as you all know, I, I, I well, maybe you don't know, but um, the Patreon, some of them get to see either the warehouse or the she shed as part of, as one of their perks each month. And so I went out and worked in the warehouse, and, um, you know, I've been slowly getting all the stuff out of the craft room and the she shed and into the warehouse in um, organized <laughs> and as I was uh, embarrassingly showing all the stuff that's in there um, I realized I really do not need to shop okay <laughs> so hence I'm not shopping today so let's make sure we have some glue oh I will be buying glue oh headset no <laughs> Okay, turn on the headset. So I'm not repeating everything I just said. <laughs> Go. Sorry about that. It's a totally different setup to be live. Uh, 
Oh, you're out and about, Kelly. Okay, cool. Okay, so just like this. I mean, you can also make envelopes with your envelope punch board. That is, that is fine. I'm not telling you to make your envelopes this way. I'm showing you one of the easy ways to make an envelope base. Okay, so there's your base. Then I want you to collage on it. And using scraps, this is a scrappy collage. This is a wrapping paper that somebody sent me. I'm going to have to, I love this stuff. I have a lot of it, but I, um, I'm going to be sad when it's gone. Okay, so just taking items and you can even have like your notes um, say you wrote down a recipe or something and you, in, in your own handwriting, you can even use that as a scrappy thing. Okay, so I'm just going to add, I, I don't have any glue sticks left. I cannot believe that. I had a huge container full of glue sticks. I've used them all, but that's part of, you know, not leaving, not leaving the house. Heck, I've missed the last few uh, weeks of Dollar General's $5 coupons because I didn't even leave the house on Saturday. So you can make all of yours the same. That's going to be the fastest. But if you want a variety, go ahead and make a variety. Um, okay, so just like this is just like really similar to what um, Roxy did a couple weeks ago. And we did this, um, I showed you on the video a couple weeks ago where I did this. So um, I have an onion, onion dyed envelope here. Okay, so. Okay, and you can go ahead and make little tuck spots and pockets on it out of your collage if you want to. The thing is, is you're staying kind of neutral. Yes, there is blue, there is color, but it's still, you know, it's still neutral. It's not out there, okay? And you can keep going ahead and adding things. I did, of course, I, of course, I made that into a, I made a pocket on my envelope, okay? So that's my scrappy envelope. This is the part two of the um, of that. So, um, oh, that was my next one, Bonnie. So my border tuck. This is a nine inch book, and so I'm gonna make the make these pretending like I might have a nine inch book because right now a lot of the books that I have to use are nine inches. So, um, I mean, a lot of the covers that I have are nine inches. This and this paper is the size of paper that's coming. I guess they're nine and a half, and they're they have nine inch paper coming out of them. And I get the the white um, paper from Dollar Tree that's in the light green paper pad, and those are nine inches. They have to eat a lot of vegetables. Yep, cat, I am live. I'm actually live, and I'm having a hard time reading over there. Okay, so um, a border for this is going to be the type of border tuck that I'm going to make. So it's going to be, I will glue it. Okay, so say this is my paper that is in my the journal because remember we're making a journal. It's already going to be ready. So say this is my paper in the journal. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my glue here to these outside three edges. And I'm going to put this in here. This is a border tuck. Okay. I want mine to have writing space. So, of course, I'm going to decorate the inside of mine. And I'm probably going to add a flip-flop in there. A flip-flop. Okay. So, for something like this... Um, you know, I can still use the music. I, I have, I don't, I mean, I have a little bit of OCD and the, my OCD is things need to be 
in linear. Okay, so um, I, I don't usually put pages in my journals and things like that. Because I'm not going to turn my book and read it like that. <laughs> um, but notice this space is blank. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and leave that space blank on this one. But I might bring in like a doily. This is an avocado dyed doily. Yes, and I, um, I actually, I need, I, I need one of my, um, my people to make a list of the YouTube, uh, the information for, for our design team and our support team so that I can add that to our videos. We'll put that, um, put their information down at the bottom of the video so that, um, of course there's no information on this video because... I wasn't supposed to be live, <laughs> but here we are, okay? So, um, you know, taking and adding, doesn't that look cool with that underneath? And then we can just go ahead and clear that off. I know that um, I'm using, for my journal, I'm using the... The rest of the flea market paper pad um, that I started using in the spring floral. I think that's where. Well, I used it somewhere. And um, I used it in my Disney scrapbook. But I'm, I'm using that. And I'm going to use the Mother's R. I'm going to make a Mother's Day journal. So I'm going to use the Mother's R and Shopping with Mom digital kits. And I'm going to use the um, background kit that has the dots. The it, I originally called it the Halloween one, but now it's not in there under Halloween. It's under um, your buffering. Okay, mine is not buffering. And I don't have any text messages or anything sitting up there so I do also have some sewing information and so anyway there's um, in the, the Mother's Day digital kit there's a mother playing piano and um, I thought about you know if I have in my scraps like something from the sewing kit I might add that in there Oh, Kathy, you're using Gone Fishing. I love that one. I can't, I'm going to, oh my gosh. So you guys, I, I came up with an idea. And so since you're, you're my, you're my crew, um, let me know what you think about this. So I'm, I wanted to do the next set of merchandise. And so the merchandise that's underneath the videos right now is, uh, daisies and it says, Find something to celebrate every day. Dear Julie Julie, it's all white. Everything's white. Sweatshirts are amazing. They're very soft. And they're like medium weight. Um, so what I'm thinking is something to do with got flip-flops, double tuck, and I need a couple of other ideas that are very, you know, they're, they're Dear Julie Julie um, things. And I'm thinking about using the Beach Beauties and doing it for summer. And so if you get a chance to look at the Beach Beauties kit, maybe you can help me pick out which, um, which photograph to use or maybe if we should use more than one. Um, but I thought that that would be really kind of funny because we get it. It's summer. Um, so And the double tuck, isn't there some kind of a, you know, a diving like a dive that's a double talk or something. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that that would be funny, be fun for summer. And um, so, okay, so this is a side, this is a side border tuck. Now, you don't have to have the extra piece, but you know me, I always recommend the extra writing space when you can.
Oh, cat's wearing, cat's wearing her sweatshirt today. Okay, so that's an envelope idea. There's a side border tuck idea. So, um, paper clip. I have a large paper clip. And, I mean, a paper clip is pretty, pretty easy. You can just do like you do with the, um, like you do with anything. I'm going to go ahead and just... Which one is that, Carrie? Ah, straight edges with your collaging. Yeah. Oh my gosh, speaking of Phoenix, my granddaughter hit her first home run yesterday with an RBI. Yay! And they got her um, statistics for the state. And in her division, she is 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th for the entire state in her division in runs, um, hitting, uh, catching, stealing bases. Every Oh, my gosh. It was, like, so cool um, to see that. So that's uh, that was exciting. Thank you for posting about that. <laughs> Fishing, Peacock's Beach, lots of choices. Yes. So. so I'm trying to get Tom. Okay, so our Tom's youngest daughter, so our youngest, um, bought a house. And um, she gets to move in this month. And so i um, hoping to go in and help her a little bit with that. Okay, so just like you do a ticket, we can do bases for... Um, paper clips. Okay, so I'm going to put the large part on the back and I'm going to go ahead and come in and clean it up. But first, I think I want to go ahead and use my. Did my large paper clip break or something? I seem to remember something happening with my large paper clip, besides the fact that it's not where it's supposed to be. The purple one. Oh well. Well, you know what? Does, what does this yellow one? What does this yellow one do? This one came from my mom's. Oh, it's got a butterfly. It has a butterfly. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> I was going to come up here and um, with the large one, I was going to turn this into like a ticket. You know, just use the, just to be different. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, Denise. Um, my granddaughter, uh, she played softball and she loved it. Until she discovered field hockey. And when they lived in San Diego or Lakeside, they, they, a lot of the schools down there have girls field hockey teams. And she was even being scouted for colleges as a sophomore. Um, but then they moved and there is, there's no league or anything anywhere near where they are. Um. So she decided to play again, and oh my gosh. Oh, well, miss. Oh, okay, Kelly. Um, my daughter is a se my my granddaughter is a senior in high school. She will graduate. Um, I think it's Memorial Day weekend. I I can't I cannot believe it. Okay, so there is the base for a paper clip. Okay. Um, now you can make an envelope paper clip. You can make it a bigger paper clip. You can use one of the butterfly clasp paper clips like I like to use. Okay. So I hope this makes it so that you guys can go out there and, and get a start on this. I still will do the videos, but I just, I saw people were freaking out 
And I knew you would. I mean, I knew not not you, but I knew there would be people that would be going, what the heck was she thinking? Well, I'm, I've been watching the March <laughs> Scrapbuster uh, journals, uh, videos, the, the, the people that are making it into the VIP. And I was watching one. And why can I not remember who it was? I'm so sorry that I cannot remember which one it was. But she said at the beginning of her video, she's explaining it. And she says, um, and once I filled it with the 85 pieces or the 85 embellishments, I spit out my coffee. I was like, oh, my God, there was 85 <laughs> embellishments. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so <laughs> 85 embellishments. Um, so I didn't want to do that, but I don't want the, I don't want to go backwards on our challenges either. So I was like, okay, we'll use, you can use one, you have to decorate one or more. Um, you make the bases and we'll have those. So it's kind of like the assembly line. Remember the assembly line, we made eight or nine of everything. So we could make three journals all at the same time. And when we got done, we still needed more stuff to put in our journals. Remember, you made three of each thing for each journal or something like that. So, Okay, so there we go. I've done three things to it. I don't think I told you that, but you need to do three things. Okay, you know me. It's three things. One, two, and I punched it. Um, and you also saw the list of things that you can use. So um, and that's on decorating. So you can come back in with your fingernail polish and your paint. Um, I'm going to say that you can use your paint on your bases. Okay, because I would probably, this might be a great place to gesso. Oh, I don't know about that, darling. <laughs> Does anybody have stuff sitting on the shelf that needs to be finished? That's what I was kind of thinking was you could go ahead and and uh, it these will help you finish up some of the things that you have. Okay, so a card patch. So, um, okay, pretend this is a card. Okay, pretend this is a card. And I call this a card patch, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip around my, my book page. And I'm going to get a base. And it's kind of along the lines of like the ready ruffles and the ready edges. You're going to get something that is already ready that all you need to do is put it on a card or on your cover. You see my covers a lot of times will have what looks like some, a patch. Okay, so there's that. Um, now what I would probably do, I have I have a whole thing of, look at those, there's some mushrooms. This, was a, this is tattoo paper um, in Julie's world. Okay, it's parchment paper that got coffee dyed. And then when I stamp the coffee dyed parchment with brown ink, and then I put it onto uh, into the journal, it it looks like it's it's tattooed on skin. <laughs> and we did that in. Okay, Cindy has a question. The cover and pages. I don't understand. Awesome, Liz. Okay, so parchment, coffee dyed parchment paper, stamped with, um, that that's vintage photo. And then when you go to put it on, it becomes like part of the paper. And we did it in the fishing journal that I did, and so I started calling it a tattoo. Okay, 
So there you go. Okay, so variety. You saw that how I how I decorated those. The, this one will be a little different. Oh, this doesn't go on there. <laughs> this is made to eventually go on there. Yeah, I'm not doing that today, though, Cindy. I'm sorry. Um, I think that that is Sunday. Um, but yeah, I I. I I had it all set out. If you saw the picture of midnight sitting on my stuff, I had it all planned. But today is Friday, so the video for today is the mini challenge and the challenge. Unfortunately, it's sitting there going round and round on um, YouTube and wouldn't upload. Okay, so if you're a little concerned about your words, if you go ahead and go over half the words like that okay and then we'll come in and I want the mushroom on that side yeah I, I do all of the things you get to see everything except for the binding and the binding is um, the patreons will see that and that's just because I get really nervous when I'm binding a journal and all the stuff happens so now that I've made it, it's kind of fun that I do it that way. <laughs> and if I mess up, I mess up and it just becomes part of the entertainment. And I'm not worried because, you know, the, the people in, on the Patreon and the people that are here in the chat are nice. Some of the people that come and watch the video later are not so nice. <laughs> okay, so this is ready. And then you can go ahead and come in with your, you know, your digital or whatever and add it to. But this is ready. And um, it needs one more thing on it to be totally ready. Yeah, and, and that video, the Sunday video, you'll be able to watch it later. Sorry, you will miss you, Jenna. <laughs> Sorry. So, but I, because it has three uh, cardstock pages, and I'm going to use cardstock in the front of it, um, I decided that that would be a good Sunday video. Because we were trying to use up paper pads on Sunday. Hi, Heather. Thank you, Denise. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this can either go on a cover. Let me see if I have a cover up here. Of course I do. It's, it's if I can get it down without everything else falling. Okay, so if I was going to have... This is wallpaper. So if I was going to have this already ready, I might go ahead... And put this on here, you know, say that say I was having a day that I just wasn't feeling real creative. I might go ahead and take a bunch of these patches, sew them on here. We're now paper, and I can go ahead, and once I decide what is going inside, I can add the other. Now, if I was wanting to stitch on this, I stitch on this before I add it here. But you see, this isn't very thick. We're going to be able to, to save this, and you know maybe I'll use it here. Maybe I'll wait and use it with a fairy thing, because I do have fairy stuff coming. Um, but it could even already go on the on this. Okay, so is are you guys understanding that? So, um, okay, so that... Can, is either a cover or a card patch. Okay? The cool thing about it is book pages paper, I can take this and I can glue it right on here. Now, it would be really great to go ahead 
and also have these already sewn and ready. Okay, so that's my take on the paper collaging and, and having it ready. That's the thing about it that I find that's different. I can have these ready, the book pages paper, so when I want to go put this on my page, it's already ready. It's ready. It's ready. Okay, so there's those. Um, let's see, what else is on our list? I think this is already the most I've ever had to look at the list, and it's only been two days. <laughs> I'm like looking at the list. What's on the list? Okay, um, okay, so your roll of collaged book paper. I did a video on this a couple of Saturdays ago, and so what I did. I laid out my book page is one side and then we collaged bigger collage I like the idea of the straight edges um, and somebody also mentioned because I was I talked in my video about being that I was really slow but if you use bigger pieces then you're going to be faster and um, well yeah but what can you put on a two inch by two inch square patch cat? I'm thinking card size. So card size big Like that that size card patches you guys Okay, so on this the the key for this one is your whatever you're collaging over this area Okay Okay, and as you saw, um, actually, you didn't see it yet. You'll see it in today's video. This is how I keep mine. Okay, so you'll see it at 1 o'clock. I'm going to show you ideas on how to, to, to hold on to this stuff that we're going to be doing. Okay, so really quick, um, the ruffle roll, again, is going to be the same kind of idea as the collage roll. You're going to want your book pages, which I've, can you believe I already lost the book pages? Okay. And you can either cut them or rip them. In my world, of course, I'm going to rip. Okay. So putting these together... Actually, we'll do these these two. Okay, so here's my book page base. Okay, and I'm going to want these two pieces to be collaged together with something. And so that something is going to be a ruffle. And it's going to be a paper ruffle. Now, you're probably going to want to sew this, but it's okay if you don't. If you have to go ahead and... Um, you know, and glue it. I've shown you, shown you how to do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this side. And at the crease, I'm going to put a little more glue than I would put on the rest of the page. Okay. So it's going to go here, and it's going to go here. If you're sewing, then you can, you know, figure it out with your sewing machine, okay? So there's that. Sewn is going to be the best way. Even if you hand, if you baste it, I think if you baste it, it's going to be better. Really, it didn't look very ruffled after. So um, you still have to do the three things. So it can kind of be like your snippet where you go ahead and you don't have to do the same thing all the way along it. If you want to, you can. But you're going to have your book page and then three things on top of your on top of your book page and I'm starting in the middle because I wanted to show you how to go over the seam 
Okay. Okay. So um, now I, I I show you later that I think these can be kept on toilet paper rolls, or you can use keep them like I did on that other thing. Got to wait till for this to dry or be sewn. But then you'll be able to just keep it. And again, it is ready because it has book page. It is ready. <laughs> um, your book page piece under here can be bigger so that it comes out and you're able to see it on the other side of the ruffle because doesn't that look cool? Wouldn't that make a cool pocket? Okay. Because I'm having you make the ruffle, but that doesn't mean your ruffle has to go on your edge. Your ruffle can go on your, after you've made your ruffle, you can come back and, and ruffle a, a pocket on your, on your envelope. Or ruffle uh, just, you know, you can come in and cut a little flap and that add that onto your ruffle. Bye, April. Okay, so um, so I hope that helps with your paper ruffle. Um, the same thing with your your snippet, but your snippet needs to be three inches because it. What it, my idea for the snippet is that it needs to be big enough to be a pocket. Okay, and your band is one and a half to two inches. It needs to be big enough to be a belly band. Okay, um, and. And it does not need to be ruffled, okay? So where the ruffle needs to have ruffles. Okay, that was not even close to straight. But remember, you can use your cutter. My thing is saying, show your support for dear Julie Julie. It wants me to pay me money. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, so... Um, so your band, you're just going to go ahead and collage just like we've been collaging the other things. And with your collaging, you're just using your scrap stuff. Okay, so the things that you have in your scrap pile. When you come back and decorate, that's when you're going to use those other items that we, that we showed Okay. <laughs> and find all the pieces that are around your desk. Okay. And then, but we're going to do this in a roll. Instead of just doing a stack of bands, we're going to do this in a roll. So, hi, uh, hi, Mary. Welcome. Oh, hi, Ellen. I didn't see that you were out there. Hello. Bye, Denise. Okay, and, um, okay, so showed you the paper clip. Um, pockets that flip up and down. Okay, so that's a, Okay, so you have a, your pocket is going to be here. It's kind of the same as your envelope. Okay, flips up, flips down. And then you need to put something in here. So like that page of the white, the white page, or... The privacy envelope. So all of these things. Okay. Because on this one, that was part of it, is you need to use a book page, but the inside of it needs to be writing space. Okay, so that is, that one is a little bit more, more tricky. Okay. So just like that, I can just glue that in. Um, 
I think I'm going to glue that in, and boy, I have a mess. It's a mess at this messy desk. So maybe add this to the side. Okay, so glue that down, then fold it up, and then do your, your collaging on the front. Okay. So that is the flip up, flip down pocket. Um, tags. You're just going to take your um, that's why I added writing space. Okay? Or you're, from your scrap pile, pick something. That's why I showed you the, the privacy envelope or you could put you know, if you have a scrap of coffee dyed paper, you could put that in there. Um, you can use any kind of, of scrap. To, to cover your writing space. Oh... A dictionary with pictures. Okay, so again, tags, you know, your, your tags need to be three by seven. Um, but you're going to, I'm just, I, I'm going to, mine are going to be, um, I'm going to make mine so that they're folded. Probably. <clears throat> That's not. Oh, it is. Oh, good. Barely. You got to do it this way, though. <laughs> okay, so there's my three inches. I kind of like I kind of like the emptiness up there. And that's okay to to go, "Oh, I want emptiness up there." Okay, so there's my 7. I'm going to go ahead and mark this at 7 instead of cutting it. You can cut it. You can take two of these pieces and measure it 3 by 7 make it the shape of a tag that you want it to be and then and then just deck you know you can sew around it and just decorate on that I'm gonna go with a pocket okay and this is seven inches this is three inches Oh, those, that was not, I should have taken the straight corner. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Did you see what happened there? Okay, that'll kind of give me an idea, sort of. Or not. Okay, we'll just, uh, we'll just guess. Okay. So there I have a tag, and I'll probably want to go ahead and put something in there and down here, and then collage on this, okay? So that gives you um, that. An un unusual foot, uh, journal card with a flip or a fold, I'll save that one and show you that one at the, at the, um, when I do it. Okay, and I showed you the ready ruffle, an idea for it. Again, the snippet is just a snippet, it's three inches, and it'll be on a roll. So, okay. Okay, so um, any more questions? That was just a rough overview 
Um, yeah, the, any anything after 1923, it's it's confusing, and some people's stuff is still protected. Um, if it's art, some of their stuff is still protected, even if it's after, um, if it's before 2023. 20, um, the card patch was, was this one, okay? So this is a card patch. It's, it's made. It can go on either the cover of a journal. It's ready to go on a cover of a journal or onto, we, we pretended this envelope was a card, okay? And I call it a card patch because it reminds me of a patch that you would put on like a pair of pants or something. A uh, one o'clock Pacific Standard Time, uh, the, um, We'll have the other one. I it's still running. I'm hoping that it's uploading while we're while we're talking. I was like, okay, we'll we'll see if it'll if it'll work. So that gives you some ideas. With this, I can actually show you how I'm going to store my some of my things um, because we have some things already made to go in. So we made the envelope. Okay, you can make any kind of envelope. You can use your envelope punch board if you want to. Um, but it needs to have at least three things on your scrappy collage. Okay, and the scrappy is from your scraps. Okay, um, this is the card cover or the cover or card patch. This was our paper clip. And I found out I have a punch that punches out butterflies. And this is a side border tuck. Mine is going to have an opening. Um, yours can just be closed. You can take two pieces or take a piece, fold it over, sew it so that it is substantial and not just, you know, the thin one page. That's the other thing is you want to, on your tags and things like that, you want to, um, to make them substantial so that, that they're, um, you know, you know how you want them to feel. Okay, so here's our, our ruffle. And I, I just showed you how to go ahead and put the two pieces together. Your your ruffle needs to be 24 to 30 inches long. You can keep making it. It can keep going. <laughs> um, an hour and a half for, from now. Right now, because it's 11.30 here right now. Okay, so here's here's my tag, my 3x7 tag. This is flip up, right? Flip up, flip down, and this becomes a pocket back here. We're just getting these ready. So all we have to do is glue them into our journals. So the other thing is you want to make sure that the things that you're making are along the size and um, that you normally would use. Okay, so don't make things this big if you make Reader's Digest journals usually. Okay. So there we go. That should get you all through the weekend <laughs> with some something that you can... Um, that you can go ahead and do, I, th I think. And um, like I said, the mini challenge in the challenge, that'll be at 1 o'clock. And that might be keep you uh, busy until until we're back here <laughs> with, with um, more of these videos on Monday. So we'll have um, Scrappy Saturday. I'm, and then we'll do the, the journal pages on Sunday and then we'll be back with more the new reader digest or nine by six really I haven't seen any I haven't seen any of the new ones oh th there's the this and this <clears throat> okay so what are the things um, that will sideboard or text card patches altered paper clips 
things that flip up and down. Okay, the unusual journal card with flip or fold. We'll do that another day. Um, tags, envelope. Okay. Oh, they're called selects. Oh, that's a great, great name for them because, you know, they, they would pick and choose what they what stories they were going to tell and then tell them in a condensed version which was especially wonderful for busy people I think so now I have this big pile of scraps <laughs> that I'm going to need to to do something with so maybe that'll be <laughs> what do I do with this big pile of scraps okay the ruffle roll can come out and get hung with the, the collage papers. I like them hung on the um, the rolls. I like them hung because they stay flat. But if you don't have room, then then rolls are going to be a great way of keeping them. I think. Okay, so I will put that up there. Any more questions? Put your questions in capital letters so that I can see them. We need to go back to that for lives. Oh my gosh, Cindy, I remember that. I remember that. We, um, our family and another family lived, we lived on property and we shared a driveway and our parents bought the encyclopedias and this other thing that was called the wheel together. And so our two families shared the encyclopedias, but this wheel thing was an amazing tutor and if you were stuck on something, it was it was awesome, and I wish I wish we knew where it was. Yes. Yep. After it, your total roll needs to be twenty four inches after. With it being ruffled, you don't take 24 inches and ruffle that. It's it's already ruffled in 24 inches. Um, you can make them in 12 inch pieces, but they need to be put together. They need to be a roll. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we had um. We had TV. We didn't always have cable, but we had TV, and we could get one or two channels. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but my dad, um, my dad liked his his sports on the weekend, and he needed he needed the news. Um, it was part of how he he ran his life as a teacher. The news in the newspaper was very important for him to know how. Um, things were affecting his students. So um, he would read the, he'd open the newspaper, read the front page, and open the newspaper up and go to the page where the obituaries and the divorces and um, births and where those were. And there were many times that he knew stuff that was going on in the lives of the kids, of his students. That nobody, nobody else knew, and so that he could be, um, he could be the person that he was. My dad was amazing. <laughs> so, oh, Cindy, that's cool. I um, I had cable, cause where we lived, you had to have cable to get TV. Um, where I lived when I had my when I had my children and I was single and 
I had, they were at their dad's and I went away for a few days. And when I came back, our TV had been turned off. Um, I had paid the bill, but, um, it, I apparently put the wrong check in the two, two bills. And so, you know, instead of take saying something, they just turned it off. And, um, I can't, uh, it was a weekend and I, I noticed that my kids were talking to each other. They were playing games. The house was so different that, um, I went and paid the bill and I didn't have the TV turned back on and we did not have TV for like three years. I rented movies and, um, and life was Oh my gosh, it was so much better and so different. So. Yep. Well, where we lived, you wouldn't our our you couldn't get TV by antenna. Now, my husband is an antenna guy. That's his thing. You know, we do we're ham radio operators and we you can find our house by the antennas. Um and we do not have cable. We have an we have antenna TV, and um, we get we get quite a few channels, and it's awesome, and it's free. <laughs> Actually, we did buy converters, so but they they've paid themselves off easily by now. Um, so yeah, we just adapted. Uh, how we watch we don't watch that much tv we are both like our outside our our home um we like doing stuff um so yeah my tom is not a game player oh my gosh i so wish i love to play games and he does not play games and um he's not a huge puzzle person we we put together a puzzle um last Christmas or the Christmas before but when I got married um, we bought a TV the first time I got married so in the very early 1980s um, and we bought a black and white TV from my Aunt Loretta you guys know Loretta as the Loretta in the postcards um but she had this black and white TV, and it was better than a color TV. The, the differences in the grays and the black and, and stuff, it was the best picture. And I, so I bought, the, I bought the black and white TV from her, and I loved it. <laughs> it was black and white. It wasn't color. And then we were the first ones to buy a VCR. <laughs> we had a black and white TV and a VCR. <laughs> Nobody else had VCRs, but we, we used our, my ex-husband was a baker, and so he worked nights. So TV, you know, it's like in, back then, to tell you that there was a VCR, you didn't record things, you just missed it. So, um, you know, he was not a big fan of daytime television, so we bought a VCR so that we could watch movies in the daytime. And um, that was awesome. Oh, Saturday morning cartoons. They were awesome. Yep. <laughs> Bye, Kathy. Well, we did... My mom worked on Friday after, well, Fridays and Saturdays. She did hair, and my dad had us, we had a babysitter on Friday, and then my dad had us on Saturdays. And my dad is handicapped, or my dad was handicapped. Um, and so it's pretty interesting, all the stuff that we learned how to do and had no idea that other people had, didn't have to do what we did. Plus, I had my brother that had cerebral palsy, and so if we wanted to go somewhere, my sister and I had to figure out a way to get him out to the car. And um, and he was as big as we were. <laughs> so. 
So my dad came up with the carrying the blanket, uh, and he tied knots in the four corners of the blankets. And me and my sister, we each carried, and we were like five and six, and he was probably three. <laughs> he would be in four, three or four, and and then bigger. You know, we were seven, eight, and and he was getting bigger. So. It's interesting because we're kind of all the same age, huh? <laughs> so, well, I need to go and make sure that this video has uploaded and get the information on it for you so that um, we can get the mini challenge and the challenge out there. I want to thank you all. I love seeing all the excitement for the, the new challenge, and I hope that this puts you at your mind at rest about what is required by making the 8 to 12. Um, as you can see, it's it's not as scary or hard as you think it is. Oh my gosh, there's 61? Wow. Hello, 61. If you don't know, we are over in the chat. <laughs> You're, oh, 61 age, duh. I'm 58. 58. So, um, yes, and, um, oh, one o'clock, Good Friday. Should I, yeah, well, I already said we'd do that, so that's what we're going to do. Hi, Anita. Yep, Bonnie and I are 58 together. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, if you're out there and you don't know, uh, I do a premiere every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time, except for days like today when the video would not upload fast enough to be ready. Um, and on Fridays, we do a mini challenge in the challenge because we do a big challenge each month on this channel. The premiere format that we use allows us to have everybody come on over and you can hear me answering questions and talking. Um, there is a chat going on and you can join us by hitting that live chat button and come on over and say hello. So, um, yeah, so everybody um, that's out there, if you'd like, come on over, say hello. There's Nellie. Hi, Nellie. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Nelly. I just boxed up your Yaya journal, and um, it's going to be on its way. I'm going to run to the post office and get it on its way. So that's, I'm, that's pretty exciting. Bye, Cindy. I'll see you in a little bit. Ham and the Ten Commandments. I'm hoping Tom is supposed to get us a honey-baked ham. It's our treat. And so I, I need to call and remind him because it's right there by where he works. And they do it where you can call and they will they have a drive-up. <laughs> you drive up and they bring it to your car. So um, don't have to stand in line. Um, post office open on haul not is. It, it's open today, but it's not open. It, well, it's not open on Sunday. Yeah, I like ha ham for Easter was um, when we were home, we would have ham. But there were many, 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 many years that we did picnic. And um, everybody brought chicken for their family and a side dish. And we would have... 15, 20, 30 families at um, a park, either in Ventura or in Ojai. And lots and lots of fun. Bye, Georgie. Uh, it's, I don't think it's closed. If it is, then I'll... I'll take it to town because I can I can put it in the thing in, in the town box 
Yep, yep, yep. Okie dokie. Well, everybody, I'm going to go so that I can make sure that this video is uploaded. And I'll see you at 1 o'clock. And thank you all for being here. And if you don't get to come back today, have an amazing day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.